Hey what's up everyone, in this video we're going to create a teleportation pad, it's going to be another C Sharp scripting example, and if you watched the last video, we're still in sample assets beta, um, and we're just using the car scene that's in sample assets beta, and you can also set this up for any type of character controller, it doesn't have to be a car, um, I'm using a car because I think it's kind of cool, um, I remember playing Twisted Metal and teleporting into all these different locations uh, that was always cool so yeah um, let's go ahead and get started the first thing we're gonna do to create uh, a teleporter kind of platform is let's create a cube and we'll name this teleportation pad Then it has a box collider. Uh, we're going to use it as a trigger. And then another thing we want to do is create an empty object for our spawn point. So we have, when our player collides with this teleportation pad, we're going to have it send him to a spawn point. Um, let's set the spawn point to be over here. So the first time we use it, it's going to teleport him right over here, and then he could drive into those boxes. Um, so now let's go ahead and uh, look at our colliders really quick. In the last video, we set this collider, uh, one of these colliders, the tag we set it to player, because we're doing on collision enter uh, collider. So. Um, the collider is basically the object that's going to be colliding with this uh, teleportation pad um, so that tag has to be set to player for the script to work um, similar to how it worked with the landmine that we built in the last video um, none of the other colliders uh, need to be changed those ones stay as untagged um, and if you are using like let's say a regular character um, and the collider is the top level uh, game object and its tag is already set to player then uh, that'll be totally fine and um, yeah we'll just set this up um, you just need to make sure that the collider level is set the tag is set to player um, that's the most important part so now we're going to create a C sharp script We'll call it teleportation pad. I'll go ahead and open that up. And we're going to create a couple game objects um, or a couple variables. The first one is going to be for the player game object. So we'll do public game object that'll be called player. And then the second one is just going to be the spawn point. And that's going to be the transform. So we're, these are the only two variables we need. We just want to get the player because that's uh, the game object. We're going to send the entire game object to uh, the spawn points uh, transform. Uh, and we're going to one, since we're using transform we can get the position and rotation so we could uh, we're just basically setting this game in objects transform and rotation to be equal to this game objects transform and rotation and we're going to use on trigger enter to set that up so we'll do void on trigger enter And then we're looking for a collider. And we're just going to call that COL. Um, now, the next thing we want to do is we want to make sure we're getting um, a collider's. We, we don't want any collider. We want to make sure the tag is set to player. We already talked about how we're going to set our player. Our actual game objects collider up. Uh, 
so that something's tag is set to player. We'll just do collider dot tag is equal to player. So once something collides with this teleportation pad, uh, we're going to check the tag if the tag is set to player. And then we can go ahead and and start to execute our code. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we want to actually see we want to set the player or that is going to be doing the teleporting. So we'll, we'll use this is where we use our player variable. Um, so we're going to say the player is equal to uh, collider dot transform. And I'm just going to illustrate a couple things really quick um, before I go any further. So once a game object uh, collides with this teleportation pad, if the collider's tag is set to player, we're going to set our player for this script, the player that we're referencing, to be equal to the collider dot transform dot game object uh, so let's go ahead and see what that looks like so far because if you're using um, a character that has uh, the collider on the top level of the game object this line of code right here will be sufficient um, but I'm gonna go a little bit further to get this car to be able to teleport um, I also need to add this script so we'll go to add component, teleportation pad, and we're going to go ahead and put the spawn point in here. That's not set up yet, so nothing's actually going to be, um, nothing's going to be teleported yet. So the teleportation pad, we'll move that up a little bit. Then when we press play, we're going to see what uh, is generated to be the player game object. And in this sense it's the collider and the collider is the object that collided with um, the collider is the game object that collided with the uh, the teleportation pad. So if we had it all set up it would just teleport this collider game object. So what we want to do is we, we want to go all the way up to the car so like I said, if your collider is already attached to the top level of the game object that is your player game object, uh, that's as far as you need to go. But we're going to take this one a little bit further. Um, we're going to start looking for the parent. So we'll do parent um, dot game object dot transform. dot parent dot game object is what we need to do is we need to go all the way up so um, we could kind of we could stop right here but then we would get just the colliders but it, in our case we want to go all the way up to the top level car layer so that's why this line of code is a little bit longer so let's go ahead and save that And now when we actually run over this object, we'll see that we're getting our car game object. So basically what I'm doing with this line of code is I'm, I'm checking the collider, I'm getting its transform, um, and then I'm going to go, I'm going to keep going up. I'm going to get its parent, I'm going to get its transform, and then I'm going to go up one more time and get the parent and then get its game object. Um, so now that I have gone all the way up effectively and to the top and I'm and the teleportation pad is referencing our player game object now we want to just send it to the spawn point um, and that's kind of easy so we'll just do um, player that position that transform 
that position is equal to spawn point dot transform that position and then we'll do the same thing for the rotation so we'll set player dot transform dot rotation is equal to spawn point dot transform that rotation and now our script is finished so um, every time some type of collider collides with this teleportation pad uh, so this will work in like multiplayer setups and things along those lines you can you, you'll have all different types of objects will constantly be checked you don't have to go and and pre-configure the script or anything like that. It'll just work in many types of situations because it's just constantly checking. There we go. Um, so if we wanted to flip around this uh, Y rotation and like, make it go the opposite way, um, there we go. Now our player's facing the opposite direction. We could could do all different kinds of things. Um, we can let's take it over here actually. Right in front of that landmine. Make the car explode before I go. Well, not really explode, but this landmine. Boom! Alright, cool. So, hopefully this video was helpful for you guys, and you can now teleport your players to different locations in your scene. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you in one of the next videos. Thanks for checking this out.